So tips and tricks that I used to use for uh, when I have any exams is I usually always focus on the learning outcomes. I feel like it's actually helpful to just focus on that because um, it's so hard to like remember everything that you have to learn about for the last three months. So it's best to just like focus on the learning outcomes because usually uh, unit coordinator tends to actually ask questions from learning outcomes and then try to make practice questions from that because uh, practicing an actual question is actually more helpful than just like prime all of the notes that you need. And then also maybe try to time yourself because sometimes when you do an uh, accept question, you feel like you have a lot of time, but actually when you really get into it, it time flies really fast. So actually try practice um, answering question and then just time yourself to make sure that you're on the right track. Try and mix up learning styles. Don't just use handwritten notes or just typed up notes on your laptop because you know, while others may help for like taking that information, it's not probably not the best way to test how well you know the content itself. So try practicing writing out questions like you're in an exam or like, you know, writing other questions by yourself. Um, try using flashcards, try using audio recordings and putting them back to yourself. Try testing with a friend and like going over definitions um, if you need to. Just trying to switch up different forms of learning, I feel can help you, you know, really get a better assessment of where your level of understanding is in terms of the content, rather than just sticking you know, solely to notes. I find really helpful would be to utilize the whiteboards in the library so that I can write down um, all the key concepts um, in the lectures or any important information that I know will come up on the exam. And um, I will write them out and um, think of any mnemonics um, to help solidify that in my memory so that when I go to the exam, I can actually pull out the mnemonic and it'll be just like that on the piece of paper. Top tips for exams and tests. One would be get a, get a good night's sleep beforehand. You do not want to be sleep deprived. Make sure you've got the notes that you need if you're allowed to, to have notes. And when you go into the exam, just make sure you use the reading time effectively. Have a look at the questions. If you know there's ones that yes, you know exactly what to do, do them first so you get that off your mind and you have more time to actually then think about complex questions because you don't want to be spending all your time on those and then you get in a bit of a fluff and you think, oh crap, now you've run out of time to get the extra marks on the really easy questions and then, oh, you know, you might then just be on the edge of passing or not passing. So yeah, I think they're, they're probably the main things to, to make sure at least you're getting the most out of the time as well.